Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pruder channel. Today guys, I'm doing paid review 23QA46. This is for Brian. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Explorer 2. This is my Explorer 2. And um, I've just taken it out of the bank safe. I love this watch. A steel discreet Rolex is rather cool. Hello, Archie. Please review my updated collection. I have a rose gold Sky Dweller on a leather strap, reference two, sorry, reference 326135. A two tone Rolex Yachtmaster 2, reference 116681. And a white gold, white gold Rolex. Day date to model two one eight three four nine factory diamond dial and bezel. Is my three piece collection now complete? What are your thoughts on the white gold presidential watch? Do I need something else? What are your thoughts on jewelry insurance now that I'm approaching a hundred thousand in value? And I in I inherited the day date from my father in law as a gift. We share a passion for timepieces together. Wishing you all the best from Brian. So, Brian, interesting collection. Three pieces. We've got a rose gold sky dweller on a leather strap. We've got a two tone uh, yacht master two. And we've got a white gold uh, day date two, 2183. Nine. Now, um, what do I think? What do I think? Okay, so, and you also, you told me, uh, sorry, you told me, I inherited the day date too from my father in law as a gift. We shared a passion for timepieces together. So, a bit of a story there. Okay, so, interesting collection. Why do I think there? Well, um, what do I think indeed here? Now, I. 218349. Let me just check that reference number. It's bugging me. It's bugging me. Is that factory diamond dial and bezel? That's what I want to know. Rolex, let's just have a look. 218. Three, four, nine. Let's see what that brings up. Uh, it actually it is. Yes, it is. Factory, diamond dial, and bezel. Wowzers. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. So what do I think there? Interesting. Interesting. We've got a rose gold on a leather strap. We've got a two tone Yachtmaster two, and we've got a white gold day date two, which is, they're all beautiful. The only thing now you're asking me is my three piece collection now complete? I would say just one thing I would love. You know, I have had two tones. I've had paddocks. But I always love a steel Rolex. I always love a steel, a steel Rolex. I always love having a steel piece. Why is that? Because I just, steel is, uh, sometimes, you know what? I just think you've got, those are big ticket, big money items. I mean, look, this is not about, economy here because um, you've got some really expensive models here. I, I would be picking up something in steel. An Explorer 2 Polar with 42 mil would be perfect just so you have something steel to to have in the collection. So I, I is the three-piece collection uh, complete? Look, only you can decide that but it's not about money. I'd be adding something steel sports Rolex. Just so you got something steel that, you know, you can just wear and enjoy. What are your thoughts on the white gold presidential? Look, 
I gotta be honest with you, I looked at it and go, ooh, it's a bit blingy. It blings. I was concerned, is it aftermarket, non-Rolex, bezel and dial? But it is, it is, it is. That model number is a reference number for factory dial and bezel. What's my thoughts on it? It's certainly interesting. I think it's it's beautiful. And the fact that it came from your father-in-law, um, definitely enjoy it. Do I need something else? Uh, the only thing, I, as I said to you, is a steel Rolex. I'd be looking at Explorer 2, maybe a Submarina, just to have a steel Rolex in the mix. That's the only thing I would add. Um, what do I think of the collection? It's pretty well perfect. The gold Sky Dweller on leather is just such a beautiful dress watch. You can wear that formal occasions. It's a captain of industry watch. I had a steel Sky Dweller with the white gold bezel. Unfortunately, I lost that in a burglary, but that's a story for another day. But it, Sky Dweller is a great piece. I actually really love the Yacht Master 2. I do, and I love the two-tone. I completely get it. In fact, I was this close from getting one myself. I got a two-tone Daytona, but you know what? It could have. I could have gone for a Yacht Master 2. Superb watch, and the white gold Day Date 2. That's an amazing watch. Absolutely amazing. Please wear that in good health. So, in my opinion, what do I think of this collection? It's amazing. Normally, people don't have such top heavy pieces. My advice would be to get one or two steel, and that is just to have something in the arsenal if you want something a little bit less just something solid that you don't have to worry so much about what's my thoughts on the insurance I just mentioned my burglary yes yes indeed my best advice to you is to add definitely definitely get insurance I was grossly underinsured um, and um, I, I, um, I thought I had good security. Don't worry, these burglars can outduce the best of us. So my advice to you would be insurance is definitely one option. The other option is to possibly um, ha get a bank security box. So you don't keep them at home, you keep them in the bank. There is nothing 100% secure. I am sorry, there is no 100% secure, but I would definitely, um, you, if you want to insure high value jewelry or watches, you would need to get, in my country, Australia, you need to get an independent valuation or have the original invoice, and you lodge it, add it, it's called a listed item. So would I do that? If I had my time again, yes. Just coming off the ass end of a burglary, um, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. So, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would certainly get your items covered because nothing stings like when you are underinsured. So, yeah, I would definitely definitely get that arranged that would be something I would I would definitely do so <clears throat> yeah definitely get some insurance I would also <clears throat> have a bank safety deposit box just so that you have all your pieces in a so you don't have them at home have them in the bank and uh, hopefully you won't have to go through the terrible situation that I've had so Yes, that is how it goes. So thank you very much for your 
paid review. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your collection. Wear them in good health. Add a steel Rolex, I think one or two steel Rolexes, and you will have everything you could ever wish for. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Remember, guys, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't be afraid to put some comments. And paid reviews, look down in the description, 50 US dollars for a paid review, and help me stay full-time on YouTube. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, we, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.